We're on tape now. All right. So if you're in Bloomberg, just click up at the top so you get the flashing blue. And we're going to use the Russell 3000 as our index, so type R-A-Y, and then F10, and hit Enter. And you'll get the Russell 3000 up there, and then do number, number six for the members. And the first column is ticker, the next column is a company. We don't need the next column. You can right-click and delete that. You can delete the shares, delete the price. So what we're going to do is going to, on this yellow box right here, it lets us add something, type the word GIX, and we want GIX industry name. The second one down, hit enter, and we'll bring in industry names, and then when it comes in, actually click the, the top column, and you'll see aerospace is the very first one, so we've got what we want, and we're going to click output and take, take it, all of it to Excel. And so when it comes up, you just say yes when it comes up into Excel. It goes down to 675, but I have five links. So here we have it in Excel. So in Excel, you should have you should have your ticker and your company name. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these next three columns. I'm just going to delete them because we don't need it. All right, go back, uh, get out of there and go back to, you didn't, you didn't sort it, so make sure you sort it. And so when you're in Bloomberg, just make sure when you're in Bloomberg that you actually click on the top column so that it sorts it. Yeah, a GIX and industry name, GIX industry name, you just click on that. Now it, says, it all says consumers, consu everything says consumer? Yeah. All right, so go back, make sure you, you did GIX industry name, not sector. Okay. And you can delete that column that has the sectors. All right, everybody got, um, everybody's got the stocks in there? All right, go ahead and click on that row too and just delete that one that has the word Ray on it. Just delete that entire row. So you don't need that row and then page down until you get to the end of aerospace. You see right here, FedEx. So you go down right below aerospace and then do shift, control down. And we're just going to delete everything that's not aerospace. And so all you want are the companies that are aerospace companies in our in our, our list. Yeah, so when you're in in here you just do output. Which of them were both green? So Ray, index, you get the members, and then you're going to add Gix Industry, and enter. We'll delete the stuff we don't need. Yeah, Sort it by that, and then output, Excel. Okay, since I've already done it, I'm going to say no. But. All right, so we got all our aerospace companies. So what we're going to do, we can delete that column C now that says aerospace, because we already know that it's aerospace. So you can just delete that. And then what we want to do, we're going to bring in some data. So let's do the same thing we did with telecom. I think it'll work pretty well with this industry. So we're going to bring in three pieces of data. So at this point, you should have in column one, you should have this blue stuff here. What we're going to do is click on our one. We're going to we're going to input a few rows at the top. Just give us a little more room to work with. And so you have your ticker. You got your company. So we're going to right here on this row C. You see this C4? You click right on that one. We're going to go to the Bloomberg and find fields. And the fields we're going to find are EVA spread and add that one. Debt to EV EBIT. Debt to EBIT. Uh, that's like net debt. 12 month EBIT. Net debt to EBIT. 
And then we're going to do price. We're going to do EV, EBIT, EBIT DAW. And then you want uh, enterprise value to EBIT DAW, like the fourth one down. So you want to apply all of those and close. So I'm going to I'm going to pause the video there just to make sure.